Hey, here's a quick five minute warm up that you can use for any of the workouts. Shall we go? So let's just start by rotating through the waist, bending into the knees. So we've got a series of exercises that are gonna warm up the muscles of the body and get the heart rate up a little bit. We've got some funky music for you as well. <laughs> you can go as fast or as slow as you like and I'll be giving options throughout. There are some high impact movements to really lift the heart rate, but if you're not doing high impact, I'll show you the low impact option. The first exercise, we're going squat. All right, so just take the feet slightly wider than the hips, push the hips back, keep the chest high. When you sit back, draw your belly in. That's it. So we're focusing on warming up the legs and the glutes. Hips go back. When you come up, drive through the heels. Try not to look down on those squats. Cool. Keep it nice and easy and relax through the arms. We're going to take a slightly wider and slower squat and slightly lower. So it's like a Hindi squat. So we're going to drop the hips, knees push out, and then lift the hips, drop the head. So just bending and stretching. This way you're going to lengthen through the hamstrings and really open up through the groin and the hips. This movement is excellent for any of the squat movements that you'll do in your workouts, okay? It also helps with mobility because there's a certain amount of flexibility that you need. That's it, drop those hips. Good. I've got a timer on over there. <laughs> okay, just a couple more. And then come up to standing. We're gonna step back, lunge, and then reach an arm over and then change sides. Step back, lunge and reach. So you're gonna be stretching down through the hip and across the rib cage and up into the arms. Good, step back long and reach. Big breath in, two more, one each side. Last one here. Okay, we're going to take lunges to the side. So drop to the side, change sides. Now make sure that your knee pushes out over the toes, the toes face the corner, and you push your hips back, keep your chest up. Okay, so pushing the hips back. So you're getting momentum through the hips and warming up through the quads, the inner thighs and the hamstrings. Are we feeling warmer? Oh, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit in a minute. Four, three, two, one. Okay, light jog on the spot. Now, if you're not into running, you just take a march. Okay, for whatever reason, maybe you notice when you run, it doesn't feel so good down there, <laughs> or you're not comfortable running on your joints. Otherwise, just keep it light on the feet. So if you're taking this light low jog, drop your heels down so they connect to the floor. Keep the upper body relaxed, but long. Open up your lungs. That's it. All right, we're gonna take jump jacks. Turn the toes out, land the heels. All right, if we're taking proper jump jacks, we've got arms as well. And a little bit of Lady Gaga. Okay, if you're not doing high impact, here's your option. So you keep the arms going and you just switch feet. Reach the toes out nice and long, keep both knees bent throughout. All right, let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Then you're going to kick butt. So bring the heels up to the butt. That's it. Lean forward slightly, really warming up the hamstrings. Maybe you use your arms. If you've got space, you can run around. <laughs> Hold on. Just dance. Just run. Remember, you're not running, you're here. Okay? All right, we've got one more move. We've got a squat jump. Your option, come back to the original squat we did at the beginning, or lift up on your toes. Otherwise, springy, light, hips drop back, keep going. We're nearly there. Four, three, 
two, one. That's your five minute warm up. High five.